Hey guys, I'm Mariana. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe down below before you leave. And you can go ahead and hit the post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Before we get into today's video, I just want to let you guys know that there will be links in the description box below to petitions, donations, and more information to help support the Black Lives Matter movement, as I've been saying for the past couple weeks. If you haven't already, please don't forget to go check that out. Go sign some petitions, donate a dollar every single where you can. There's no excuse. It's right in the description box. Please check it out if you haven't already. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a really easy, super quick, easy summer eyeshadow tutorial. So I did the rest of my face already and I my hair is kind of wet because I just washed it and I was trying to blow dry it and my blow dryer just stopped working and so this is what I did to it and I'm kind of liking it. I think it's cute. The look that I'm going for today is going to be something really summery, very colorful, but it is going to be still pretty simple and easy. We're going to be playing with colors today and I'm going to show you guys how you can get this summery, cute, easy pop of color look. So I'm going to bring you guys in a little closer and let's get started. So on my eyes right now, I only have concealer. I don't have any kind of eyeshadow primer or anything because I don't use that. But we do have some concealer, which is the most primer, which is the most amount of primer that I will ever use. So today we're going for a pink and yellow pop of color kind of half cut crease. So for the first shade, I'm going to be going in with Ace Beauty. Scarlet Dusk Palette. So this palette is really pretty for like sunset kind of looks and it is like a mix of evening and daytime looks in here and I really absolutely love this palette because the quality is so great. I got this in my BoxyCharm box because if you guys want to go check that video out it's already up on my channel. So I'm going to be using this pink shade right here and I'm also going to be going in with this shade right here which is like an orange shade. So I'm going to take the orange shade and I'm just going to put it right on my transition area right under my brow bone. I'm using a fluffy blending brush from Lavish. I also got this in my BoxyCharm box and I've been getting a lot of brushes lately and I'm not complaining at all. So I'm just going to lightly put this right under my brow bone and just blend it out and add some color to my eye. Same thing on the other side. Using windshield wiper motions and I'm just trying to pack the color onto my eye and just blend it out at the same time. I'm also going to wing it out just a little bit so I can get a really pretty cat eye looking effect. Okay so for the next shade I'm going to be going in with this pink shade Pink Moon and I'm going to take the same blending brush and I'm going to pack this color on a little bit more. I'm going to put this right in my crease and look at this. I've never used this shade before but it is so pretty. Oh my gosh look at that pigment. I'm so here for this. So I'm just going to drag it out to the outer corner and I'm going to blend it in with the last shade as well. So I'm using windshield wiper motions and circular motions just to buff it in. Make sure all of the color gets on my skin and I'm also trying to blend it in with the last shade. So I lied, I'm not doing a half cut grease. I'm going to do... I'm not really sure how to explain this, but you're going to see. So next, I'm going to go in with concealer on this brush, which is like a really small kabuki brush. It's like a compact brush, and it's very dense, and it has a flat kind of dome top. This is from Real Techniques. I'm not sure what the name of this brush is because it did fade away, but this is what it looks like. So I'm going to go in with my concealer. So I'm going to go in with my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. This is in the shade Alabaster. So I use this shade to cut my crease, and I just use this shade for eyeshadow I don't use this on my face at all because it is way too light for me so I'm actually gonna pick up the concealer on the brush and I'm just going to lightly tap it and fade it out on the lash line so I want to concentrate most of the concealer onto my lash line and if you get it on the pink that's fine so this is just gonna act as a really nice blank canvas base for the next shade which we're about to use which is yellow I want it to be kind of airbrushed looking so that's why it looks kind of messy at the top i'm just gonna try and blend it out with the edge of the brush just a little bit 
Okay, so it does not have to be perfect. It's not looking perfect at all right now, but that's fine. So the next thing that we're going to do, the next shade that I'm going to go in with is from my Anastasia Prism Palette. I'm going to be taking this shade Sphere right here, which is like an electric yellow shade. And I'm going to take this shader brush, which is also from Lavish. I got in my BoxyCharm box, so it is um, compact from the side and it is a dome brush um, from the front so it does allow me to pick up and pack on shadow really easily and I love that it's really small too so I'm just gonna pick up some of this yellow shade on the brush and we're just gonna pack this on to the concealer and try to blend it and fade it out as we go more toward the pink and I'm also gonna wing the yellow out as well i've said this before and i'm gonna say it again every time i try to do a video someone is always mowing their lawn or breaking down their house so i'm very sorry for all of this noise but next i'm gonna take the blending brush that i use for the pink and i'm just gonna go back over the edge where both colors meet so they blend really well but i'm kind of trying to stay away from the wing area because i don't want that to go anywhere so i'm gonna go back in and pack on some more yellow because i want this to be as bright as possible now i'm just gonna do the same exact thing on the other eye so i'm also trying not to bring it up too high into the pink because i do want it to look kind of like a shadow for my eyeliner so i don't want it to be covering my whole entire lid so we're just gonna keep it as close to the lash line as possible I really like what's going on right now that is pretty much it for the eyeshadow for now so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my liner so I'm gonna take my wet n wild mega liner in the shade black which is my favorite eyeliner ever and I'm gonna go ahead and create a really kind of small wing so I'm just going to start in the middle. If you guys want to see an in-depth tutorial on how to do liner, on how I do liner, um, I do have a video up on my channel already, so you can go check that out. Okay, so this is like a really cute baby wing. Um, I feel like it still allows the colors to show out. Okay, so I wanted to keep the wings pretty minimal. I'm actually going to go back in with the yellow shade and add some on my inner corner and kind of drag it down toward my lower lash line as well. So I'm going to take the same brush and I'm just going to pack it right in the inner corner and then just drag it in just a little bit i'm also going to take the blending brush that i use for the pink and i'm just going to run it right under the outer part of my lower lash line just to give it a little bit of some color down here i don't like putting too much on my lower lash line because i feel like it really brings down my eyes and makes it look really heavy so that's about it you guys can definitely put more if you want but now i'm going to go ahead and put on my mascara and my lashes and i'll be right back Okay, so I just put on my lashes, so the last and final thing that I want to do is I'm actually going to take my concealer brush that I use for my eyebrows um, to carve them out. It does have some excess concealer on it, so I'm going to just clean up the outer corner of the shadow and just wing it out and just make sure that it looks really sharp and clean. Do the same thing on the other side. I feel like this part is like not essential, but it just makes the shadow look that much more cohesive, more clean, and it also just uplifts your eye. I also like to take my MAC 224 brush and just go over the top of the shadow just to diffuse it out a little bit more, just so it can be very blended and there's like no harsh lines okay guys so this is the final look i just want to keep my eyes pretty matte but you can't actually go ahead and put some glitter or some shimmer in the inner corner and on your highlight um and highlight your brow bone as well but i'm gonna leave it as this so i'm gonna give you guys a little montage and a little close-up guys so that was it for today's video i really hope that you enjoyed it if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe down below before you leave and give this video a big thumbs up um if you have any other video suggestions that you'd like to see from me please let me know down in the comments also you can follow me on my social medias which should also be in the description box below and contact me there um also do not forget to check out the links in the description box as well thank you again so much for watching and i'll see you guys the next time bye